Take off your glasses. Oh Whoa! Today is a day. A very special day. A day I've been waiting for for nearly seven years. Today is the 8th of April, 2024, and I'm in Montreal, Canada, and I'm here for the total solar eclipse. I've been obsessed with eclipses since I saw my first partial eclipse right here in Montreal in August 2017. And since then, I've always wanted to see a total one. And I tried. I genuinely tried in December 2020 where I was living in London at the time. Long story, and I will make a video about it, but I booked a flight to Chile from London during the middle of the pandemic, paid like 200 pounds or so in PCR tests just to get through all the, the COVID checks. Got there, got to Chile, got through all the COVID checks just fine, got denied at the border, had my passport confiscated and got sent back to London, which is an insane story. It's so insane that even I forget <laughs> that I've done that sometimes. It was genuinely worth the risk because if I didn't do it then I would have regretted it for the rest of my life. And I'm here, nearly four years later, in the country <laughs> where the eclipse is gonna be. And we are going to go see it. So if you stay in Montreal, right here in Montreal, I'll get about 30 seconds of a total eclipse. Whereas if I hop in a car with some of my friends and go an hour and a half away, we can get pretty much close to the maximum of three minutes and 30 seconds. So we're gonna get close to that. Even if you just leave the, the city, go south for like an hour, you'll get close to three minutes. So it's definitely worth leaving just to get like the maximum effect. I was really worried about the weather because it's Montreal in April. And if you know anything about Montreal, April is literally the worst month to be in Montreal. It's just nothing but rain and slush and all the snow melts. The weather is just not good. When I checked the weather report for this, two weeks in advance, it was non-stop rain today. But if I look outside, it is perfect blue skies, perfect eclipse weather. I'm really excited. I can't believe it's been seven years since I saw my partial eclipse. And today I will see a total one. As long as there's no like stupid ass cloud or anything that just pops up and gets in the way of this moment. I built this this uh, solar filter. So if you look through it, you can't see anything because it only lets through the sun. I built this out of some solar film and a step up filter. So I'm pretty proud of that. So I'm gonna use that during the eclipse. I'm gonna be filming with this, taking some photos with this. Got my GoPro, got a drone. So yeah, should be fun. I should head off now go to my friend's house where they have the car where we're gonna set off. It is currently 10.22 a.m. and the eclipse is at 3.26 p.m. So we got five hours and four minutes until totality, which is crazy. Ah! I'm so excited, I'm so excited. I really hope I don't forget anything. I gotta pack this up, the tripod, and then I'm off. All right, see you in a bit. friend's place to hop in the car and head out to the countryside where it could not be more perfect. After meeting up with my friends in Plateau, we hopped in the car and headed out of the city. With a few hours to go until totality, we were stuck in gridlock traffic for what felt like an eternity. But soon enough, we were off the island and on the open road. The good thing about an eclipse is that it doesn't concentrate people in the exact same spot, just one wide band across the surface of the earth. For us, it was a countryside about an hour and a half east of Montreal, just south of Val de Source, the expertly marketed rebrand of the town formerly known as Asbestos. Yep, was the biggest mine for it in the world. Oh, that is sick. What? I'm testing this solar filter, it looks amazing. I can see a glow around the sun. Yeah, so that would be one of the views. This is? This is cool. That's the first one. Okay. So cute. The second one would be great as well. I like this. I mean, like it's more just how do we get off the road? Yeah, and that's the problem, right? Oh, so what about that? What about that part? See that? Or is that a gate up ahead? Yeah, I think it's a road. 
So otherwise, we're 15 minutes away from like the big spot that we wanted to go to first, which is pretty nice. Yeah, I mean... You like this? I like it, but it looks gated. Oh, yeah. You just want to go to the other uh, pill? It seems really good. Yeah. Yeah, we can do. It's not that far away. Okay, we are... I think I think this is time. I think this is like, it should start. It's 2.16. 2.16. I think it should be starting. I'm going to check. Solar filter on. Um, uh, the sun is... Okay. Zooming in. Can I see anything? Not nothing yet. It's happening. Nice. Whoa. It's amazing, right? Oh. Where are the glasses? Mine are over here and Hudson is over there. Yeah. Okay. Oh wow. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that is way too long on two. Absolutely wild. Okay. It's so eerie. I just it's get just shivers looking at it. Mm. Just like you know how we depend on the sun so much? And it's just gone, yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited because when I saw it in 2017, you know it goes up to a point, yeah. right? So my friend who called me on Instagram just then, on the drive here, I saw it with her in McGill Field. It's a pretty big deal. <laughs> I mean, like it was a partial. We're getting a partial right now. Yeah. <laughs> it is uh, 2.35. Okay, so we got an hour. I don't know what I'm doing yet. Just... <gasps> wow, that's so cool. Ah! <laughs> It's covered. Let me see if I can... Whoa! Yo! That's pretty sick. <gasps> what? That is... That's crazy. It's getting cooler, huh? Yeah. I can't see you, but like... <laughs> no, no, it's so far out, huh? How's it going, Daniel? Good, you? Yeah? Pretty good. <laughs> We're in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> shooting a solar eclipse, and it's gonna go to totality. I don't think we're gonna have any bad weather. Fingers crossed. But if I zoom in, this thing. Wow, you, yep. Yep, that's an eclipse. Wow, it's like middle of the day. It's getting darker. I can feel it getting darker. Like the cloud is coming over, but there is no cloud. Wow, look at this. Jesus. I think this was the maxima I saw it at. Can we calming down as well? This is so eerie. My god, we are at, I'm gonna guess about 60% totality and it's getting so cold very, very quickly. And it's getting dark. The shadows still look normal, but it looks like we're in cloud. It's uh, very, very eerie. The, the sun is moving very, very quickly. This is like... Oh, I can't believe I've been waiting seven years for this. It's wet. Missing. It's getting close. It's amazing. It's so eerie. It's like night time now. Fuck. Okay, so we're 13 minutes away. How much time do we have in totality here again? 3 minutes and 15. Amazing. Look at the sky behind us. Yeah, it's getting really dark. Oh, okay. yeah. oh, it's getting nice. I can actually see it shift a lot. The bird is freaking out. No. The rooster. Oh, yeah. That's the rooster. Yeah. Yeah, they're starting to freak out. I can't wait to like take off the glasses and look at it. I'm, I'm excited. Oh man. You can stand it up, right? Yeah, I think so. That's Lightroom level contrast on the tree line. What do you mean? Like, it feels like the, the slider for contrast oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. is really pumped up. The sky is getting really dark. We're approaching totality. The shadows are starting to become quite sharp, actually. Yeah? Actually, around your head, it's going to be sharpest from what I see. My shadows are starting to get hazy, no? Maybe, yeah. For me, it's a mix of, like, sharp and hazy, which is weird. Wow. Okay. Yeah, no, like, the shadows seem 
This sign again? Here, that certain angle. What I see is that when you're like perpendicular with the sun, mm -hmm. the shadow is also clear. Yeah, that, oh my god, I can see the hairs. I can see, yeah. 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 Shit. Yeah, like my like the hair like the hair yeah. shadows are like. It's just optics because usually. It's Whoa! Like... <laughs> Look, it's starting to get it's it's starting to like do it. Like if I just check, just look at my hair. Like, see that? Yeah. It's just like it's like clear but hazy. Yeah, yeah. So the the further you go out, the clearer it's gonna be. Yeah. But it feels okay. like the, the the clouds are already like sunset color. Yeah. The colors behind us are amazing. I don't know what you mean by the colors, like it's dark. What? Yeah, yeah, but it's it's a dark blue, like polarizer filter blue. Right. It's getting clearer and clearer. Yeah, it's it? clear. Oh my god. Oh, the bulky is the, the, the come over here. Check, check it out. <gasps> what? Oh, yeah. Check my mon, mon petit trou dans ma main. C'est le trou, c'est la... la... <gasps> oh my god, I see it, I see it, I see it. Whoa, yeah. holy shit. Oh, sorry, yeah. <gasps> oh my god. What the heck? Well, this is how they tell you to watch it if you don't have yeah, uh, like a pinhole. A pinhole, yeah. That's amazing. Oh, that is wild! Oh my god! So you can see it in your hair as well. This is what I see right, right now. Yeah, 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 it yeah. <gasps> this is so oh. f***ing weird. Oh, it's happening. Wait, it's got a few more minutes. Oh no, we got. Yeah. This is wild. Oh, wow, it's so cute. Wait, feel it? Yeah. That is so cute. What a minute? Yeah, about a minute. Jesus. So soon you're gonna start seeing some shiny pearls. You're gonna see some flashes of light all around the edge, and that's gonna be like the craters of the moon letting some sunlight pass. You can't watch that with your own eyes. Uh, no, no, exactly. So the last big flash, it's gonna be like a flashlight at the edge of the moon. That's after that you can watch it with your own eyes. Mm -hmm. You can see it disappear slowly. Oh my god, it's like barely there. <laughs> Why would you be driving right now? It should happen now. Look at the, the fog, I think that's it. Huh? We have a lot of fog right now. There's the darkness in front of us already. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. Almost there. Uh... <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! What? What? Holy shit! You can see the sunset. Yeah! Holy fuck! <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god, it's so beautiful! Holy f Oh my god! Wow. I can't- you don't look at it yet! Don't look at it yet! Holy crap. Oh! Oh my god, Oh. Oh my god. This is the weirdest thing ever. Oh my god. The dogs are like, what the fuck? Check these étoiles. It's a map. Wow. We can see Mars and Venus. Wow. <laughs> wow. You can see, look at the crater down there. There's yeah. like a spot. Huh? There's a spot on the bottom of the sun. I think these are solar flares, by the way. Yeah. 
It's just gone. You better be careful. Should start popping out soon. Wow. Oh, check the demo. It's coming. Wow, okay. That was amazing. Yeah, pitch your glass rod. That was the coolest thing I've ever seen. My <laughs> god. <Yeah. laughs> it's incredible. It's so short. I know, but like. It's crazy. It happens so fast. Yeah, but like the, the seeing the, the, the corona and everything. Yeah, the corona as well. You just can't wait to see your pictures. It was Mars or maybe Jupiter. Yeah. <laughs> that, was that was insane. I'm just still processing what the f just happened. Like I, I, I knew about the sunset sunrise thing. It was just so but like it was just so intense as well. It was like an actual sunset sunrise, not just like oh yeah. haze, but like just everything. Well, I took the time to do. Yeah, and that we came here as well just like get more time because if that was a minute i don't know what i would do a minute? <laughs> yeah you, you wouldn't or 30 seconds yeah it'd be so so fast and it wouldn't be as intense as well that's true because it took a while for it to actually really glow and it's also the fact that on your side because you're closer to the side where it's still sunny mm. you wouldn't get total darkness around you that's true it gives you like an amazing Just three minutes. One thing I told myself is, you know, pictures you can find online. But the experience is just like, fuck. Yeah. No, that's something else. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. So it's the next day. I am still processing what I just saw. There's just so many things happening at the same time, you feel it slowly get darker, it gets cold, really cold. Not just chilly like it was during my 58% partial eclipse in Montreal seven years ago, but proper cold where I had to layer up. And then you start to see the shadows get super, super sharp to the point where I can see individual hairs in my silhouette and the sky turning an eerie silvery blue, like a grayish steel blue. And then when totality hits, it's just the most overwhelming experience. You're looking at this thing and it's happening. This thing I've been dreaming about for the past seven years is happening before my eyes. I can see the corona of the sun. I can see solar flares. I can see Venus just next to the sun. The stars start popping out. And then the sunset sunrise in 360 degrees. One thing I didn't think about is that when it happens, you're seeing sunset, sunrise in 360 degrees all across the horizon. But also the light isn't orange red like it would be during a normal sunset, sunrise. It just gets dark, like someone's turning off the lights. But you see the sunset, sunrise colors. It's absolutely eerie, kind of like moonlight, almost but not really. It's just eerie because it's this combination of two 
things that are so separate in your mind. But then also at the same time, as you can probably see in the video, I've been preparing for this for so long, but really when totality hits, especially when it's a three minute thing, nothing is gonna prepare you for that experience. You could watch all the videos in the world and that still wouldn't ruin the experience. Seeing it in person is something out of a sci-fi film. You're suddenly so acutely aware of your place in the universe and you're just thinking, wow, like this is such a surreal experience. And also we are so lucky to be on a planet where the sun just so happens to be 400 times further away than our moon and also almost 400 times the size of our moon. And those two things mean they're almost exactly the same size in our sky, which gives us this insane experience once every who knows how many years, depending on where you live. But yeah, I'm so glad we drove out to the countryside. Thank you, Daniel, for driving us out. It was so amazing just to experience that with just us three in the middle of nowhere in the countryside in Quebec and just having the darkness come over us and how deathly quiet it was as well. All the nature just... And the stars come out, the corona. Seeing the diamond ring for a split second, like a hyper split second <laughs> before I put my glasses back on that was amazing as well. My eyes don't hurt, thankfully. Maybe I had a bit of a headache on the ride back home, but yeah. I don't think that could have gone any better, to be honest. It feels like I've achieved some sort of huge life goal, something that you really only experience once in a lifetime. I think I'm definitely gonna go see another one because I know I'm making a YouTube video about it, but I wanted to be a little bit more present. So like something's happened, like the drone very conveniently ran out of battery during the eclipse, which turned out into that amazing shot. That was the coolest thing I have ever seen with my own eyes. Better than Dune part two in IMAX. And if you've seen Dune part two in IMAX, you know how big of a statement that is. It's basically that in real life. And I'm just, wow, wow. Wow. I don't think that image of totality above the sunset sunrise, that's never gonna leave my memory. This video is mostly just to help me document this for me. I hope you enjoy it. If you did, please feel free to subscribe if you wanna see some more vlogs and travel stuff like this and me. I don't know what I'm doing at the moment. I'm at my friend's house in Montreal, staying here for like a little while before I head off to Portugal for a few months before I head off to- So if you don't know anything about me, my name's Lashawn. I've been living abroad for the last seven years. Nearly five of those have been in London. And I was in kind of a soulless corporate job in engineering, which also did not pay very well at all. So this month with about six months left on my visa, I decided to quit my job, move out of my London apartment, put all my stuff into storage, and just try to make a life in what I'm passionate about. What? Leave the country without a plan, just booking one-way flights as I go. I got a one-way flight here to Montreal, a one-way flight to Portugal, and I'll have to buy another one-way flight to London probably to process a visa. I'm doing this and I'm trying to follow my passion, which is making videos, not just for my channel, but for other people, video editing, production, presenting, that kind of thing. But I really think this is the right path for me. I just need to take a risk. I mean, the risk brought me here. I saw a total solar eclipse, which has been my dream for seven years. And things have been slowly like working out. Right now, I just need to put in the work, get more of these videos out, a more consistent schedule, and also just work to find remote jobs, doing video editing work or whatever here and there. So yeah, if you wanna see how this pans out, maybe it'll go terribly and I'll end up back in Australia or just completely run out of money, who knows? Subscribe if you wanna see where this goes and let me know what you'd like to see from this channel next. Cause I have loads of ideas and any suggestions on direction will be appreciated. So let me know. Okay, so I need to go. So I'll see you in the next one. LaShawn 